Hey everybody, got something a little different for you today. Um, this is the first uh, Nudo figure that I have owned. Um, I got it on clearance and the reason I picked this guy is he's from the Machine Robo uh, film Revenge of Kronos. So for those keeping track, that makes him loosely associated with the GoBots. Uh, but anyway, mainly he's a cool looking robot. Um, it's from Yamato. And essentially, it's kind of an alternative to Revel Tech in, in a lot of ways. Um, it has this internal armature that gives it, you know, great flexibility. And then you wrap it in the shell to, you know, look like whatever robot or character you are trying to, uh, to emulate. This is from the Ultimate Super Robot Collection. And, yeah. So, he's, he's pretty cool. He's got a very low accessory count. So if you're into accessories, then you'll be disappointed. He's just got his shield, an extra fist, his sword hand, and then the figure himself. But uh, but yeah, anyway, let's take a look it at comes it. comes with a couple accessories. A uh, sword that's attached to a right fist, so you can pop that on there. He has a left fist with a peg hole in it, and that allows him to hold his shield, which is about that big. So. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it. He is a good, solid, sturdy action figure. Um, he is quite poseable. Uh, the design, I really like. You can see he's got kind of a bird beak thing going on in his head, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know, it reminds me of like Space Ghost or something. But uh, it's on a ball joint and has all kinds of all kinds of possibilities. You can move it all over the place. The shoulders are actually on a an arm, uh, a ball joint arm, which I don't know if you can see it all, but it allows the whole shoulder to move all around, and then the shoulder itself is hinged. Um, the chest, it has a little bit of wiggle room this way, and then a little bit rotation like that, but that's about it, and then it also wiggles at that. But it's the kind of thing where there's articulation, but I don't know how much you can really use it. I mean, only so far as from that angle to that angle. That's all you can really do. So it's not a whole lot. Um, the hips are on the old universal ball swivel, which is cool. They do hinge out to the side, rotate. The knees are double jointed, so you can get about like that due to the limitations of his... Uh, very large and boxy legs, um, ankles, the toe piece does articulate. So that's very cool. You can get some dynamic posing with a good solid base. And then the arms are also double jointed, but again, because of the way that this is designed, you can't really take full advantage of it. And that's about as, about as far as it, far up as it can go. Um, now the hands, and just in general the way that he's put together, swapping hands is easy, but it can also make this whole arm assembly fall apart. And maybe it's just something that I'm not doing right, but basically you pull off the fist, pop on your accessory fist, and then he can hold his shield, which is also articulated. So you know, he can he can get pretty dynamic with it. Now this one's the one that always gives me trouble. So when you pull it off, if you don't do it right, the whole you know, wrist post comes off and then this falls off and that falls off and the whole thing just comes apart. So be careful with that. Um, you want to make sure to just get the fist. So there you go. A uh, quick look at the Nudo Kenryu um, and I hope you enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Take care until next time.